Hey, when you're patching a hole in the wall, do you even need paper tape or any kind of joint tape? Well, you might be surprised. Let's check that out right after this. Okay, so the reason I ask that is I had this thought a while back, like well over a year, I started this video. I didn't shoot any video. I just started mocking it up, playing around, and I found something really interesting. You know what? You might not need joint tape if you do it right. So what I mean by that is I took this little piece of rock here and I knocked a hole in it right there. You can see it goes all the way through. I've patched it now with some mud, but it goes all the way through. And then same on this side. I cut out a hole that big right here. Then I filled it full of hot mud, nice thick hot mud. And the reason it worked is I put a piece of sheetrock on the backside so it couldn't ooze all over. That's why you see brown paper right there. It stuck to the drywall that I stuck back here just to form a backer for it. So I let it dry and then it's, you know, well over a year old. And because it's hot mud, it's tough. Now, if you tried this with regular mud, there is no way it would work. So I did a, a video a while back comparing hot mud to regular mud. And I showed why you can't put it on thick. I put it on something like, I think it was three eighths thick. And the regular mud took a week to sort of dry and it was still really soft cracked, shrunk terribly. Whereas the hot mud, it looked almost like I just coated it. That's the advantage to hot mud. It doesn't shrink much. It dries really hard and it sets up really quick so you can put multiple coats on. But in order to make this hold better, there's a couple tricks that I did. Maybe just one, I'm not sure. And that is I kind of beveled it slightly so that the mud kind of fit into a wedge just a little bit. And then it's roughed up, but I cleaned up all the loose stuff. If you got loose dust and particles in there, it's not gonna stick very well. So did this work? Is that strong? I'd say it is. I'm really impressed that a year later, this still hasn't cracked. It hasn't done anything. And if you hit it, let's try drywall. I mean, I can't hit it any harder with my knuckle. That That's solid. And it, I've hit it quite a few times and it hasn't popped loose. Now I think if I hit it hard enough, of course I can knock through it, but let's just hit it a little bit harder and see. You can see that's hard enough. It's denting the drywall, but it's actually not going through. So I am super impressed how well this sticks in a hole. Now that would show if you were to coat it like that and leave it. So let's pretend we were gonna do this without mesh tape. Now, to be honest, I won't do this on a job because I just don't wanna take that chance that maybe it fails. We know that joint tape, paper tape, mesh tape, fiber fuse, fiber fuse max, whatever you're gonna use, that stuff works. It helps by making it stronger over the cracked area, but this isn't really a crack. So let's just pretend we were gonna do it this way. Give it a light scuff sanding, wipe it off, and I'm gonna throw some plus three mud on here. Straight out of the bucket, this is mixed up. We'll just use my level five uh, eight inch knife here. If you guys need any tools, I mentioned this a lot, but just letting you know that I am a level five authorized affiliate distributor so I can give you guys 10% off on all these tools. That includes pretty much anything they, they sell. So let's see, it's kind of hard to do holding it in my hand here. I'm just gonna put on a fairly thin coat. Just enough to kind of cover it. Let's get that one too. Okay, that's fairly thin and I'll show you up close here. You can see, uh, you can kind of see the repair through the mud. That means 
it's a thin coat but I do have a solid coat so we're gonna let it dry do a light sanding and let's just see how it looks okay we let this dry overnight you can see it looks pretty good still the same piece Let's sand it a little bit and just see how it looks. Does it have any cracks, anything like that? So we'll just sand it with this sanding sponge here. Now, if I were finishing this, I wouldn't sand it much more than that because you don't want to sand all the way down to the surface anyway. Let me put my inspector gadget glasses on take a look at it for you and then I'm going to show you a close-up of it maybe a little bit more sanding okay I don't see anything let me show you how it is now then I'm going to tap on it some more and see if we can get it to crack so you can see it looks pretty dang good so let's see if anything has changed I know it hurts to hit it let's tap on it with this thing Now let's hit it from behind. Okay, let me show you up close again. There's dent marks all over in it, but there's no cracks. So hey, that's pretty bizarre. What do you guys think? <laughs> Would you ever attempt a repair like that with no joint tape? You know, in a pinch, I might, but I'd tell the homeowner I'm doing it that way but I'm, I just don't know what else to say about it. I wanna hear you guys' opinions down below. That just really kind of blows my mind. I didn't think it would work this good, but so far, you know, I can break it because it's weak. I wanted to see that, but that's a little piece. But you notice it broke on the sheetrock, not through the mud, because the mud's pretty tough. Let's just see here how we can tear it up here. So pulling on it like this, I'm telling you, that is stuck in there good. That is the strongest part of this wall, if this was a wall or ceiling. Comment down below, let's get this going. I wanna hear what you think. Plus, you know what? YouTube will show my video a lot more if you guys comment. Just say whatever you think about this and give me a thumbs up. And as always, I appreciate you guys stopping by and for giving us a thumbs up and all that. And if you like this kind of content and want to learn more and you're new to my channel, be sure and subscribe and click that bell icon. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Take care, everybody.